What's up guys? Today, we're going to be chasing a fish that I haven't caught in over 30 years of fishing. Caught what is that? <laughs> you rub their belly, they usually start blowing up. We're going to be catching a ton of other species too. Look at that. Big, <laughs> gorgeous little fish. Biting my thumb. Let go, let go. I'm super excited to show you how to catch, clean, and cook the rare rabbit fish. Fish on. We got a fish in the boat, we got a fish in the boat. I'm so excited. This weather is not the best weather this morning. It's absolutely blowing. We're kind of out of the wind, but I'm all bundled up. And we have a high tide going on right now after looking at the fish angler app. And we decided to do some trolling before the current really starts moving. And I got a huge hit earlier on one of my other lures. One of my favorite inshore lures with a diamond lip on there. It's gonna be in my Amazon store if you're ever interested in the lures I like to pull for both offshore and inshore fishing. But beautiful snook to start off the day. He is so cold just touching him. The water's very cold today. The day is only beginning. We're just getting started. Oh, this guy's ready. See, biting my thumb. Let go, let go. There he goes. <laughs> nice job, Justin, on that first snook. Yeah, we checked the app this morning. We were only go fishing and we kind of came out in spite of what the app told us. It's almost a full moon. Wind is blowing right in our face. We're the only boat at the ramp. Only, you know what I always say, if you're only boat at the ramp, it means one of two things. Really good or really bad. Got him. Hooked up. Using a light tackle setup today. It makes the fight that much funner. What we got, what we got, what we got. Nice jack. Woohoo! We got him, we got him, we got him. That is a nice jack. That's what he ate. Little DOA tear eyes. Simplest bait in the world, but everything loves to eat a DOA tear eyes. Woo. Another species for me. So as you know, this video is brought to you by Fish Angler App. And I'm gonna be posting, as, as the day goes on, we'll be posting every single catch that we catch in our local waters right on the app. And the cool thing about the Fish Angler app is that everybody posts their fishing spots and posts their catches. So whether you're getting just in, getting into fishing or you're an expert at fishing, the app can help all of us. So let's go ahead and just release this beautiful fish. Shrimp is one of my go-to bays, especially in the so-called Florida winter months. This is a smaller size shrimp. So what I do is I pinch the tail off, just the little first notch. Then you take my little jig, this little crusher jig I'm using, and I base the size, of the weight of the jig based on the current. And we don't have much right now, so it's a light jig, but run it right through the meat side. And then just turn your hook up and go through the top, and then push your jig inside the shrimp. And now you'll fish them like that, and the scent will come in the water because you broke his tail off. And this is a great bait. I've caught everything that swims on a little shrimp like this. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Check out the next species in the boat. Look at that pretty little snapper. Gorgeous little guy. That is a schoolmaster snapper. And you can see by the yellow on him there. And those dark lines on him kind of reminds me of like a Kubera snapper. However, gorgeous little fish. Bye, buddy. I was just letting my line out and the line just got smoked and it was going off my line and trying to close the drag, the reel. The bail. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Another species in the boat. Today, we are just literally using the Fish Angler app to find different fishing spots in our area. And you can just look up in your location, wherever you are, and see where people post where they catch fish. And we're fishing deeper holes today. Woo. And this is another species in the boat. Let me pop this right out. Look at that little shrimp you just ate and I can hold him right here, he doesn't have teeth. But that is a moonfish, we call a moonfish, also known as a look down fish. They're actually really, really tasty. And this one is just about keeper size. Oh boy! Oh baby! Get him, Brian. It's, uh, it's not a sheep, I tell it is catfish? Oh, get him over here, oh big snapper, God. big snapper, big snapper, baby. Woo! Big snapper, baby. Good job. What is that? That's a big mangrove. Oh my god, Good guys. Job. <laughs> sick. Sick. That is a monster. That is sick, yo. 
Oh my God. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Just using a shrimp and a jig, just like Darcy said. Ow. And I caught this massive, I can't even pick them up. I'm so excited. This might be my personal best inshore snapper. Like, no, this thing is a was. monster. Your Kubera was. Look at this thing. Last year. And we were just waiting for some current because inshore, you're not going to catch any fish unless you have some moving current, okay? So we got out here, it's high tide, waiting for some current, and then we started hitting this dock. And I just threw a shrimp on that dock and got this freaking monster. That's I've got totally at least three, sick. Maybe four pounds. He also got me, but that's okay. Oh, the snapper bite. Yeah, I got it caught on one of his fins, but whatever. Awesome. Found where they're holding. Nice little snack. Oh. oh, well. Nice little snook there. We're in a different spot, fishing under a bridge with fast moving current. Found an area where fish are holding, so let's put another bait right over there. Get over I here. I think I'm hooked up too, I'm not sure. <laughs> another snook. They're back in the shadow line. Whoa. Got him? Yeah. Woohoo! It's a little beefier. Yeah. A little bigger. I'll take it, I'll take it. This fish put up a really nice fight in fast moving water on light tackle. That was a lot of fun. He did not jump and throw me off like the first snook at this spot. But we are just trying a brand new area. We literally drive by this area all the time, never fish it, and we're catching fish. Heck yeah. Letting this fish go. Oh, she's trying to take my thumb with her. All right, she's ready. There she goes. Down to the deep. Sweet. Oh my God. <laughs> fish are in here, man. That was, that was ridiculous. Felt them on there. Oh my God. What? Get a, get a net. This is a cool catch. Check that out. What is that? That is a wild catch, dude. That is, I think it's a cow, a cow something. I can't think of the name of it at the moment, but you usually find these fish offshore in the deep sea. That is some type of puffer fish or a no. cow fish? It's not a puffer fish. I don't know what that fish is, guys. Have we never caught one before? No, but I think I've seen them like snorkeling in the past and I think it's called like a cow something. I think it's ugly. <laughs> We're gonna find out right now. Dude, I was just fishing and all, she yanked, she set the hook like it was a bass. I did. It was just out of camera, it was ridiculous. Did a little bit of research, I put them in my live well, just to make sure, here we go, check this out. This is not a cowfish, like I said. This is a rabbit fish. My first time ever catching a rabbit fish. And this is one of the more, I guess, not rare, but you don't catch them as much. Um, cousin of the puffer fish family. And this is basically the largest puffer like the largest a puffer fish gets, which is really cool. Most puffer fish you catch are about the size of your hand or the size of your finger. Like we've done checkered puffer fish catching cooks before, but that is a rabbit fish. Crazy when he gets blown up here. Let's see if I can get him blown up. If you rub their belly, they usually start blowing up. You see these wicked teeth. He opens his mouth. He has like rabbit teeth. Look at that. Ew. You do not want to get poked by that. That wicked, wicked teeth. Wild. All right, so that is a rabbit fish. Pretty cool, my first catch ever. Once again, we'll post exactly where we got this guy on the fish angler app so you guys can come and do this too. You want to keep him? Yeah, I was going to eat him. Right, let's eat him. We're going to eat this puffer. I don't care. My first puffer ever, and that's about as big as I get, I believe. About football size. I think it's going to go good with that mangrove I caught. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to tell the difference. No. Let's see if we can blow them up. These little spikes Sick. are very yeah, sharp. Yeah, we've never caught one before, and we've been fishing Ever. these waters for 10 years, like here, and we fish like 120 days a year. So. Yeah, it just goes <laughs> to show you how rare of a catch that is for us. And I did read a little bit on Google about how it is a more rare puffer fish to catch, but you do catch them, so. I didn't even know what it was. Woo, woo. All right, I'm getting my fish, my beautiful first rabbit fish, all ready to go. Cleaning them up, he's slimy, of course. Just came out of the cooler. I want to make sure that's going to not prevent me from filleting him correctly. But there he is, the rabbit fish, also known as a smooth puffer. That is actually the real name for this fish, the smooth puffer, did some research. And the smooth puffer gets very big, actually. This is actually a smaller one 
but they get up to like three foot long and about 10 pounds. That's like the Florida State record. So that's a pretty big puffer. And they're actually a delicacy. They're supposed to be really, really good. So I'm really excited to try this fish and I'm gonna fillet them up first time ever right now. Getting my knife, I just sharpened it up all ready to go. My dar sizzle fillet knife from Smith. So let's just dive right into this. The one thing about puffers, which a lot of people end up throwing back, is the fact that they are, a lot of people know them as poisonous, but they're actually really toxic. And a lot of people will catch one and they will throw it back. And people are missing out because these fish are delicious. And as long as you do this correctly, you are not going to get sick or get any neurotoxins because that's what these fish hold in their guts. Particularly their gallbladder is what we're gonna avoid today. So I'm displaying him just like I would any other fish. Like I said, I've never filleted this fish before, but I'm going up into the head as much as I can. And then just turn that blade around. And holy cow, this, this skin is so thick. Super durable skin. This is incredible. Just going all the way down the back. Wow, I can't believe how tough this skin is. And these fish blow up to actually twice their size when they are in uh, th that mode that you guys saw earlier when he got all huge, basically to protect themselves against predators. So they will blow up to twice their size. So we just line that out, but you can see the skin is already peeling off nice and easy. So what I'm gonna do is just start to work down his backbone, just let my knife guide me, just like anything else. And we're just gonna do our best to avoid the innards and the guts. We do not want to open those up and get that on our flesh. That is what is going to give you the neurotoxin and it'll affect a human central nervous system. And there's no known antidote for puffer fish toxin. So uh, just beware. And it actually literally says on Google that the FDA warns against eating puffer fish because of that reason. So it's pretty wild. You can see the darker meat up there, but besides that, look how good that looks. That looks amazing, and that, those are the innards, so I'm just going around that, taking my time, all the way down. And now, what I'm going to try to do is rip this skin off. It looks like it's gonna be pretty simple to rip off. I'm just gonna separate it a little bit with my knife. I should be able to just rip it right down. There we go. Oh, pretty cool, that just came right off, neat. And then I'm just gonna slab the rest of that meat off. Look at that, that does not look bad at all. Really tasty looking actually. And the cool thing about this puffer is he has no pin bones here. It's just a different shaped fish. There's no bones, this is a clean boneless filet, ready to go. Nice, okay. But once again, if you're interested in learning more about the smooth puffer, also known as the rabbit fish here in Florida, you can look that up online and find out more information. And I did read too that these two, fish, these two teeth are actually fused. So that way they can crush and uh, eat their bait, which they eat a lot of small crustaceans, shrimp, and fish. Okay, let me finish up the other side of this fish, take my time, not open the gallbladder, and I'll meet you guys in the house for the cooking pudding portion of this video. Wow, his skin is so crazy. Thanks so much, Dustizzle, for taking your life into your own hands, cleaning that dangerous, smooth puffer fish. And welcome, guys, to another edition of your favorite part of the show, cooking with pudding. I don't want to die today, edition. All kidding aside, I don't think you guys should be eating this puffer fish. <laughs> Smooth puffer fish, as we've been saying. I did my own research. It's highly toxic. All the guts and maybe the skin, but I think we have it cleared up pretty good. I called my friend Scott Donovan. He said he eats these things all the time. So we're gonna, hopefully we're gonna be okay. Uh, before I get into how I'm cooking it, and just to remind you guys, whenever Darcy mentions a lure that's in the Amazon store, uh, some sort of special, the discount code, the knives, the fish angle wrap, all those links will be in the description of the video. So go down there, download the app. Obviously it's free. Go to the app store, whatever you want to do, and uh, check it out. They have kind of giveaways all the time. And in fact, we just ended a giveaway for a fishing trip with our sizzle. Uh, so let's get to this fish. This is the first time ever having this fish, as we said you know, in the video. And so usually we just like to cook it so we can taste it, all right? And also so we don't die. But we're just gonna do a butter and salt and pepper. I put some salt and pepper on the fish, put it in my nice cast iron pan. Again, Amazon store, you can find that pan if you like. You can cook almost any fish like that. So if someone says, you know, how do we do this? How do we do that? How do we cook this fish? It's not that big of a mystery. Sizzle, come on in here, get close on this fish. You see, I just have it in here. And I got just butter 
and you'll see the white, the sides are starting to turn a little bit white. It's a little bit of a thicker fish. When those whites come over a little bit into the side a little bit more, I'm gonna flip it over, okay? We'll be right back when the fish is done. All right, guys, it looks like it's all done. Excited. Time for the taste test with our sizzle. Let's do it. He's getting me all nervous about eating this thing now. <laughs> what the heck? I just want you guys to like and subscribe to the channel, hit that <laughs> notification bell, in case you never hear from us again. Yeah. If you don't see us post on social media tomorrow, be worried, okay? <laughs> all right, I made a cut in the food. It looks, it's super flaky, feels firm. It's super white. It looks really good. Let's do it. Here we go. It's delicious. It's literally. Oh my goodness. Like grouper. Yes. I'll, I'll compare it to grouper. Yes. Actually, I would think that's grouper. If I you could. It was it's like semi-firm. So good. It's no fishy taste. It's delicious. Oh my God. I'm really shocked right now. But well, I'm going to dive in and finish the rest of this fish. Thank you guys for watching. Until our next adventure. Follow, follow your dreams. dreams keep and on keep on catching. catching. And if you got a minute, check out this next video. I just dropped it on the floor. We got more. Three second rule. <laughs>